I'm actually in Las Vegas, Nevada right now for the annual CinemaCon event where the movie studios bring all their upcoming movies this year and show it off to theater owners like AMC, and we get to see a lot of cool stuff. And I want to start off today's show by talking about some of the cool stuff that I've been seeing now. Uh, Universal and Warner Brothers showed us a lot of cool stuff already, but obviously the thing I want to start with is... Zack Snyder, director of the of 300 and, of course, the upcoming Man of Steel, came out on stage at CinemaCon yesterday and uh, addressed us there and talked about how cool it was to make Superman. And they, sh- they showed us first, now it's online now, but they showed us the world premiere of the new Man of Steel trailer. The first Man of St- Steel trailer was uh, awesome. I say it's the best trailer of 2013 so far. It's magnificent. It's everything. I mean, the tone of it is is almost perfect. Uh, I love the look of Henry Cavill. I love the juxtapositions between his two fathers in uh, Russell Crowe and, and of course, Pa Kent. I, and Russell Crowe as uh, Jor-El. But this trailer tops it. It absolutely tops it. And the really neat thing is that it gives us a glimpse into a couple of things. For instance, we used to think in the first trailer, wait a minute, why is Kal-El, Clark Kent, suddenly a member of the cast of The Deadliest Catch? You know, you see him working on a fishing boat. Why is he wandering through the wilderness like the Incredible Hulk? And in this trailer, what's really revealed is that he has spent his life on the move because he keeps saving people and in doing so displaying his, his superhuman powers... And so then he has to disappear because he believes, you know, in the teachings that Pa Kent gave him that he can't let anybody know who he really is. And that's why we see him in the trailer always on the move and always going. And of course, we hear Lois Lane asking or talking about and narrating in the trailer about, I guess she's been hunting him down as her story, this mystery person who keeps saving people's lives and then disappearing. And that, so that part was fascinating. We get to see a lot more of Michael Shannon. Of course, Boardwalk Empire uh, star Michael Shannon, who's playing General Zod. This is clearly a very different General Zod than what we saw in Superman 2. And I love the idea that they are giving him his own General Zod, his own personality for this film. And he looks great. And he looks menacing. And it, it just, it's incredible. A lot more action beats in this trailer. We also get to see action happening on Krypton. We get to see a lot of action happening on Earth. Uh, Superman fighting who we can only assume is General Zod, but maybe it's some of his minions as well. It just looks fantastic. And I love the part where she says, because I always thought this was weird, like Superman from another world with a different alphabet and everything has a big giant S on it. I love the fact in this trailer, Amy Adams says, so what's with the S? And he says, actually, that's not an S. It's the symbol in our world for hope. And... I thought that was wonderful. Now, my friend Rodney Brazo, who runs a, a, a movie site called The Movie Snitch, emailed me last night and said, do you think they'll even use the word Superman in this movie? It can, because he pointed out, and this is true, stop and think about this for a second. My friend pointed out to me, Superman is really a very stupid name for a superhero. It's a very stupid name. If there was no Superman right now, and a comic book came out with a new character and called him Superman. We would think it's the most ridiculous thing we've ever heard. But we have grown up with Superman, so it's just kind of ingrained in us and we don't think of it in those terms. But I think my friend is right. I think there's a very good possibility we may not even hear the word Superman in Man of Steel at all. And for a first film, I'm fine with that. Eventually, he has to become known by his moniker. But for now, I would be okay with that. I think this trailer is outstanding. It's, the movie's already my number one most anticipated film of the year. It only solidified that even more. Uh, the Warner Brothers president came out and, and talked about how proud they were of this movie, that they're extremely excited about it. Um, and I, I see nothing not to be excited about. I think this movie is going to absolutely be incredible. Hey guys, if you like this video, hit the thumbs up button and make sure you subscribe to our AMC Movie News YouTube channel. It's free and we'll keep you up to date on all the latest movie news as well as our daily AMC Movie Talk Show. Also, be sure to follow us on Facebook and Twitter to find out about our special promotions, contests, and prize giveaways.